Welcome to the CTTP training videos. R.461 In place density and percent compaction of asphalt concrete hot mix using a nuclear gauge. This video demonstrates the procedure for determining a job correction factor for a nuclear density gauge. Standardize the gauge before each day's use. Please see the CTTP asphalt standard count video for more information. Select at least five random locations on the job site. At each location, nuclear density tests will be compared to a core density. Locate a dry, flat test area and examine the surface texture. If the surface texture is smooth, no sand is required. If the texture is rough, sand should be used to fill the surface voids. If sanding is required, pour a small amount of dry sand onto the pavement surface. Use the scraper plate or other tool to distribute the sand into the pores and scrape off any excess so that the gauge will sit directly on the asphalt surface. Note that if sand is used at one location, it must be used for all locations. Determine the direction of the paving operation and mark each core location with the crayon or other non-permanent marker. Set the test depth to backscatter by pressing depth, then using the up or down arrow keys to select backscatter. Press yes to accept this depth. Press time and use the up or down arrows to set the time to one minute. Once set, press yes to accept. The gauge is now prepared for testing and the correct setting should be visible on the ready screen. Align the source rod with the direction of paving. Take all readings within one foot of the marked core location. The first reading should be taken directly behind a core location in the 6 o'clock position. Lower the source rod to the backscatter position, which is the first notch below the safe position. Press the start button and move away at least 3 feet from the gauge. After one minute, return to the gauge and safe the rod by pulling the handle straight up into the safe position. Then record the wet density. To find this value, use the up or down arrow keys to scroll through the results until the wet density is shown. Move the gauge to the 3 o'clock position, lower the rod to backscatter, start the test, and move away at least 3 feet. When the test is complete, return to the gauge, safe the rod, and record the wet density reading. Next, perform the test at the 9 o'clock position. Record the wet density reading. For the last test, reverse the gauge alignment by turning the gauge 180 degrees and test at the 12 o'clock position. Record the wet density reading. Repeat this testing sequence at all five core locations. Record the station number and offset for each location. Cut a core directly over each of the five marked locations and determine the bulk specific gravity of each core. Refer to the CTTP Bulk Specific Gravity video and module for more information. Calculate the core correction factor, CCF, for each location by multiplying the core specific gravity by 62.4 pounds per cubic foot and then subtracting the average gauge density for the specific location. Calculate the job correction factor, JCF, by averaging the five core correction factors. Report the result to the nearest 0.1 pound per cubic foot. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.